Hi, everybody. It's now been a year since the tragic death of Michael Brown in Ferguson, Missouri. His death, along with the events in Cleveland, Staten Island, Baltimore, Cincinnati, and other communities, sparked protests and soul searching all across our country. Over the past year, we've come to see more clearly than ever the frustration in many communities of color and the feeling that our laws can be applied unevenly. Welcome to Gimme Five, folks. I know that's almost a week old. That's the president's media address that he gives on Saturdays. It's been a year since the tragic death of Michael Brown. You mean the thug who was killed by a police officer who was defending his life and was found to be doing so legitimately by the court and by the Justice Department? How's that a tragic death? When a police officer shoots a thug who's attacking him, who punched him, who grabbed his gun, who was charging him. How was that a tragic death? The kid wasn't 15. He was a man, old enough to go fight in the war if he chose to. Tragic death of Micah Brown. And instances like in Baltimore and Cleveland, where nothing has been adjudicated yet. Staten Island, he says, where the cops were found to have done nothing wrong. Don't you see what this is? This is part of Barack Obama's attempt, promise, to fundamentally change America. He's done it. By that measure, this has been one of the most successful presidencies in our history. Because he came in calling our constitutional flawed document. He came in with a wife who said we're a downright mean nation and she's never been proud of her country. And he promised to fundamentally change us and oh he has and he's not finished. After Ferguson, I said that we have to face these issues squarely. I convened a task force on community policing to find common sense steps that can help us drive down crime and build up trust and cooperation between communities and police who put their lives on the line every single day to help keep us safe. And I've personally met with rank and file officers to hear their ideas. In May, this task force, made up of police officers, activists, and academics, proposed 59 recommendations. I'll give you what you could do with your 59 recommendations. You want a recommendation that I guarantee is not on that list? That would solve 95% of your problems, Mr. President, that you're talking about? You teach kids, don't ever run from the police, don't ever disrespect from the, the police, and do everything the police tell you. End the problem, 95%, whoosh! You don't need your 59 recommendations. You don't need your fancy panel. You don't need all this nonsense. But that's not what you're after. You're not after a solution. You're after a way to blackmail police departments all over the country into changing their ways. Otherwise, you'll cut off their funding. That's what you're after. And you're after a way to make it easier for criminals so they get out of prison sooner. That's what you're after. To keep on fundamentally changing America. You don't believe me? And all across the country, from states like Illinois and Ohio to cities like Philadelphia, Boston, and Nashville, local leaders are working to implement the task force recommendations in a way that works for their communities. So we've made progress, and we'll keep at it. But let's be clear, the issues raised over the past year aren't new, and they won't be solved by policing alone. We simply can't ask our police to contain and control issues that the rest of us aren't willing to address as a society. Okay, now here's some, listen to this, this is the dead giveaway, watch. That starts with reforming a criminal justice system that too often is a pipeline from inadequate schools to overcrowded jails, wrecking havoc on communities and families all across the country. So we need Congress to reform our federal sentencing laws for nonviolent drug offenders. We need to keep working to help more prisoners take steps to turn their lives around so they can contribute to their communities after they've served their time. Right. We need to make the penalties less for the crimes. We need to leave kids alone when they disrupt in school so they don't wind up in jail. We need to let people out of jail sooner. That's his agenda. What would solve the problem, 95% of the problem, would be Teach your kids not to disrespect the police. Teach them to obey the police and never, ever, ever to pose a threat or run from the police. You're not going to hear that, those words out of the mouth of Barack Hussein Obama. Thanks for watching.